بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم This is Dr. Shahinaz Shurbagi, Professor of Gynecology and Obstetric Tanta University. Our lecture today is about the shoulder presentation or the oblique definition. Longitudinal axis of the fetus does not coincide with that of the mother. These are the most hazardous male presentation due to mechanical difficulties that occur during labor. The oblique line, which is deviation of the head or the breech to one iliac fossa, is less hazardous as the correction to the longitudinal line is more visible. This is a picture of the transverse line where the longitudinal axis of the baby is crossing that of the mother. The incidence is 3 to 4 percent during the last quarter of pregnancy, but it reaches 0.5% at the time of labor. Etiology, there is a maternal causes and fetal causes. Maternal causes like contracted pelvis, lax abdominal wall, uterine causes as bicornate or subsubtate uterus, and pelvic masses, ovarian as ovarian tumor. Fetal causes as multiple pregnancy, polyhydramnos, placenta previa, prematurity, and lastly intrauterine fetal death. The position, we have four position and the scapula is the denominator. First, the left scapula anterior, the right scapula anterior, the right scapula posterior, and lastly is the left scapula posterior. Diagnosis. During pregnancy, by inspection, the abdomen is broader from side to side, palpation, the fundal level lower than that corresponded to the period of amenorrhea, Fundal grip, the fundus is empty. Umbilical grip, the head is felt on one side, while the patuk is on the other side. In transverse lie, they are at the same level, but in oblique lie, one is, is lower than the other, and usually the head is heavier and in lower level. By first pelvic grip, with the empty lower uterine segment can be felt. Auscultation, we can hear, hear the fetal heart sound uh, at one side of the umbilicus towards the fetal head. To confirm our diagnosis, we use ultrasound or X-ray, and also we can identify the cause by this method, others like multiple pregnancy, placenta, previ. During labor, in addition to the previous finding, vaginal examination may reveal presenting part is high, membrane are bulging, premature rupture of membrane with prolapse of the arm or the cord, the dorsum of supinated hand point to the fetal pack and the thumb toward the head. The right hand of the fetus can be shaked by the right hand of the examiner and the left hand by the left hand. When the cervix is sufficiently dilated, particularly after rupture of membrane, the scapula, acromion, clavicle, ribs, and axilla can be felt. The mechanism of labor. As a rule, there is no mechanism of labor should be anticipated in transverse line. But if the patient is allowed to progress in labor with neglected or unrecognized transverse line, one of the following may occur. Impaction, this is the usual and the most common outcome. The lower uterine segment becomes thin, ultimately rupture. The fetus becomes hyperflexed, placenta circulation is impaired, the cord is prolapsed, and we may reach to fetal asphyxia and this at the last. Spontaneous rectification, rarely the fetus lie may be corrected by splitting effect of the contracted uterine muscle and the head becomes a presenting part. Spontaneous version, rarely by similar process, but here the patok or the breech become the presenting part. Spontaneous expulsion, this is a very rare. If the fetus is very small or dead, macerated, the shoulder may be forced through the pelvis, followed by the head and the trunk. Here is a spontaneous expulsion where the shoulder is forced into the pelvis, followed by the head, and lastly the spontaneous evolution. Very rarely, the head is retained above the pelvic brim, the neck is greatly elongated, the breech descent followed by the trunk, and the after coming head coming at the last. This is a spontaneous version occurring in the pelvic cavity. Here is the spontaneous evolution, where the head up of the pelvic brim, the, the neck is elongated, and then the patok is forced into the pelvis and followed by the after the patok and the after coming head. Management. 
either the external cephalic version can be done in late pregnancy or even early in labor if the membrane are intact and the vaginal delivery is visible. In early labor, if virgins succeed, apply an abdominal bender and rupture the membrane as if the uterine contraction will proceed. Internal budalic version, it is indicated in the second twin of transverse lie followed by breach extraction. The prerequisite for internal budalic version, general or epidural anesthesia, fully dilated cervix and intact membrane or just rupture. Caesarean section, it is the best and the safest method for management in all cases of persistent transverse lie, even if the baby is dead. Rupture of membrane carries the risk of cordial prolapse and elective cesarean section should be planned before the labor commences. Neglected shoulder. The clinical picture of the impending rupture uterus. Exhaustion and distress of the mother. Shoulder is impacted, may be prolapsed, arm or cord. Membrane are ruptured for some time. Liquor is drained. The uterus is tonically contracted. The fetus is severely distressed. This is the picture of neglect. Shoulder. Management. Caesarean section is the safest procedure even if the baby is dead. Classical or low vertical incision of the uterus facilitate extraction of the fetus as a breach in such condition. So this is a one indication of the classical or low vertical incision for caesarean section. By any other manipulation will lead eventually to rupture uterus and its eye contra -in Cord presentation and cord prolapse. The definition in both condition, the loop of the cord is below the presenting part. A difference is the condition of the membrane. If it is intact, it is a cord presentation. If it rupture, it is a cord prolapse. Its incidence is one per two hundred cases. This is a picture of cord prolapse and cord presentation. The risk, as long as the membrane are intact, there is no risk. If the cord prolapse, the fetal perinatal mortality reaches 25 to 50% from asphyxia due to mechanical compression of the cord between the presenting part and the pony pelvis, a spasm of the cord vessel when it is exposed to the cold or by manipulation. The prognosis is more worse when the cord is more liable for compression, as in primary gravida, the multigravida, cephalic presentation, then breach or transverse presentation, partially, then fully dilated cervix, generally contracted pelvis, then flat pelvis, anterior, then posterior position of the cord. Etiology The presenting part is not fitting well in the lower uterine segment due to either fetal causes or maternal causes, fetal causes as malpresentation, prematurity, and encephaly polyhydramnus, multiple pregnancy. Maternal causes as contracted pelvis and pelvic tumors. Predisposing factor, placenta previa, long cord and sudden rupture of membrane in polyhydramnus. Diagnosis, it is diagnosed by vaginal examination. If the cord is prolapsed, it is necessary to detect if it is pulsating or not to see if the baby is living or not. This is documented by auscultation of the fetal heart rate. Ultrasound occasionally can diagnose cord presentation. Management, cord presentation, caesarean section for contracted pelvis. In other conditions, the treatment depends on the degree of the cervical dilatation. Partially dilated cervix, prevent rupture of membrane as long as possible by putting the patient in trending bare position, avoiding a high enema, Avoiding repeated vaginal examination when the cervix is fully dilated, manage as follow. The fetus should be delivered immediately by rupture of membrane and forceps delivery in engaged vertex presentation, rupture of membrane and breach extraction in breach presentation, rupture of membrane and internal budalic version and breach extraction may be tried in transverse line. Otherwise, caesarean section is indicated as well as for non-engaged vertex and other cephalic mal presentation. Cord prolapse, management depends upon the fetal state. If the baby is living, we do partially dilated cervix. Immediate caesarean section is indicated during preparing this. We minimize the risk for the baby by putting the patient in trending bear position, manual Displacement of the presenting part, if the cord protrudes from the vulva, handle it gently and wrap it with a warm moist pack, giving oxygen to the muscle. 
fully dilated cervix, the, should, the fetus should be delivered immediately as in court presentation. That fetus spontaneous delivery is allowed. Caesarean section is indicated if the obstructed if it, there is obstructed labor because destructive operation is out of modern obstetrics. Thank you.